Hello, warlocks of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning in to the 24th episode of our Eldritch Invocation series, where we go through all the warlock Eldritch Invocations and kind of at least at least explain them a little bit better. Um, if you want to use this video on your warlock, just create an extra playlist with your character's name and just put it in there. Um, I got a video on my uh, homepage to understand that it breaks it down a little bit better. Um, in any case, today we're going to be taking a look at Land of Lethargy, or Lethargy? I think it's pronounced Lethargy, though. In any case, this is one of the cooler ones. Honestly, I really, I like what it does, and I like the potential roleplay potential of it. Um, that being said, let's take a look at the description and break it down, or at least understand, sorry. Uh, first and foremost, there's a prerequisite to this, um, and that is that you have to be able to cast the Eldritch Blast Cantrip, which more lo most Warlocks worth their salt do. And the description reads as followed. Once on each of your turns when you hit a creature with your Eldritch Blast, you can reduce that creature's speed by 10 feet until the end of your next turn. Really, really cool stuff, and it stacks really well with a lot of those other Elder Invocations that move that imply movement. Uh, it just really helps to control the battlefield, right? Uh, that being said, let's take a look at the overview, and I'll flesh that out a little bit more. Um, essentially, once per turn, your Eldritch Blast can reduce some movement by 10 feet, um, which is pretty pretty nice. What I really like about this is it stacks with um, Grasp of Hadar and. Um, Compelling Blast, I believe. Sorry, let me let me quickly check here. Um, repelling Blast. There we go. Repelling Blast. So it it stacks with both of those, and reason being is uh, the way Eldritch Blast works is several separate beams. So you can have uh, one beam that pulls them ten feet closer to you, uh, one beam that slows them down by ten feet, and one beam that pulls them further or that pushes them further away. Uh, alternatively, you can have one beam that reduces their movement by 10 feet, as well as brings them to or, uh, 10 feet closer to you, essentially negating two thirds of their movement, uh, which is super great stuff. Uh, I, re I really like how the Warlock can be customized to a lot of different play styles. Uh, this one is definitely more for the battlefield controller, but still super good. In any case, that's going to be about it for this video. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. As always, I really do appreciate it. If you have any combos, cool ideas, or um, general questions or statements, uh, as well as any cool stories, uh, please put them down beneath in the comments. I really like listening to them and reading them. I always make sure to respond as soon as I can. Uh, that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and as always, happy casting.